Counseling Micro Skills Questioning with Sandra Collins and Gina Ko. Gina, welcome. Nice to see you again. Hi, Sandra. I'm happy to be back. What would you like to talk about today? Questioning. Today, I think I want to talk about balance. And as a person, a woman of color, my work as an anti-racist, you know, in, in terms of in anti-racism and anti-oppression work. So I think I want to talk about that today. Hmm. What specifically are you thinking about in terms of balance right now? Questioning. Well, I am a mother. I have a 14-year-old and a 17-year-old. They, they play multiple sports. Uh, I have a private practice. Um, I host a podcast, uh, Against the Tides of Racism. I write for the PAA, Psychologists Association of Alberta. I write, I'm write. i also writing for CAP, the College of Alberta Psychologists. And, and also, I, I like to spend time with, of course, family, friends. I golf, I play sports, I play music. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> a lot to balance. <laughs> How are you managing all of those things? Questioning. Um, well, first of all, I, I, I take naps every day. <laughs> I make sure I fit in at least a 10, 15 minute nap in the afternoons. So I can have more, uh, be, be fully present, uh, and have energy for my afternoon clients. And then when I pick up my children and I come back to see more clients. So for sure that nap is crucial mm -hmm. and I need to listen to my body and I need to prioritize that self-care. And where are you finding that the tensions arise or the, or the prioritizing of self-care doesn't quite cut it and you're feeling that imbalance? Questioning. I think a part of the important and impactful work that I'm doing, which I, I started my podcast almost exactly two years ago now, funded by the Canadian Race Relations Foundation, by the way, um, is that there's a lot placed on people of color, you know, for me, I'm a woman of color, I'm a racialized Asian woman. Um, and this work is so important. And this work is so worth doing, right. So I think I, I need to be mindful of how much I say yes to how much I, I say not yet to or, or if and then if and when I say no to so um, and of course, you know, on one hand, it's extra important work that's, you know, the representation is important. And the, on the other hand, I don't want to burn myself out. Mm -hmm. So what are the things that pull you in when you might be inclined to say no, but, but they kind of pull you towards saying yes? Questioning. Mm -hmm. Uh well, I, a lot has to do with, again, uh, m being a mom, being a mother is, is number one. So if my if I have an extra busy week or month with my children, my calendar is very organized. I do lists. I have calendar a calendar uh, app, and I look at my calendar. And if uh, a colleague goes, oh, Gina, can you, can you give a talk uh, next week about your podcast? I would say, actually, next week is not not good for me I am quite I'm very busy but that might not be a no it could be can we schedule it for later right so I guess if it's a last minute request um and also right now I'm you know I have colleagues where we consult and we support one another we are all people of color and we talk about the, the importance of charging of you know we, we we need to value our work our expertise as as professionals um and that has was hard for me, right? But uh, moving forward, um, I will charge and I will, you know, I will be um, kind of, I, I, I am, you know, I need to be less humble, less, you know, putting my head down and, and just work uh, to kind of um, resist a model minority myth mm -hmm. and yeah, and charge what, what I believe is fair. So 